Welcome back to the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. And this is where we love books. My next guest shares that passion. Hi, my name is Will Hellenbrand. This is my studio in Terrace Park, Ohio. And today I'm going to answer a few of your questions and to start with about my most recent books. It's good to have you on the show, Will. Why don't you start things off by telling us what you're working on right now? The book I'm working on right now is called Off We Go. It's another bear and mole story, and you're going to see a sneak preview right now. It's not finished yet. It's just a work in progress. So you'll see a few pages, and you'll see that right now. Uh, you'll see that right now in just a moment, uh, but just remember the front cover that you're seeing, it's not finished yet. Part of it's in color, part of it's not in color. Got it? Okay, thanks. Here's the uh, half-finished cover for Off We Go. I'm just going to show you the cover and not yet the back cover because I have more work to do. But this is what I'm working on now, Off We Go, a bear and mole story. Looking good, Will. It's always a joy to have you here in Baton Rouge speaking to the kids at the library. What do you like most about visiting here in Red Stick? What do I like most about visiting the libraries in Baton Rouge? What isn't there to like? There are too many things to like. Okay, I like the food. I like the swamp, the gators. I like reading to gators. Come on. There are too many things to like. I can't say, okay, one thing, I, the thing I like most, being with the children. Okay, Will, what advice do you have for kids that maybe want to be an illustrator almost like you when they grow up? What should they do? I would suggest keeping a journal, and I have my journal inside my little junior backpack, and inside my junior backpack I have my pens and pencils that, uh, well, you know, maybe pens, but what I have inside here is a journal, and what I have inside here are the drawings I like to do when I'm waiting around for, um, instead of getting bored. So. Uh, these are some drawings that I did in this book, and some of these were used for, this is for Kite Day. Um, I have, I get a little worried, I so that I'm going to run out of paper, so I have more than one journal. And um, so I have many journals, and I have another journal I like to keep with me. So this journal has a uh, magic pencil inside. Here's my pencil. Uh, keep a pencil with your journal. And these are the, it's another pencil. And off you go. Real simple. Thanks for your questions, and I hope we talk again soon. Hello out there in TV land. This month we have a special 4th of July craft. Baby, you're a firework. Let's get it popping. This is what you'll need. A toilet paper roll, white paint, red and blue glitter glue, a paintbrush, red and blue streamers, a piece of yarn or string, scissors, and some scotch tape. First, let's paint the toilet paper roll white and set it aside to dry. Once it's dry, use your glitter glue to decorate the toilet paper roll, then let it dry. We use the letters USA. Next, you will want to cut the streamers into 10 to 12 inch lengths, and then cut them again vertically down the center so they aren't too wide. Use scotch tape to stick the streamers to the inside of the toilet paper roll. Punch a hole in the top of your toilet paper roll and put a piece of yarn through it so you can hang it up. We use the paper clip. Make a few and you'll have the perfect firework decorations for your 4th of July parties. And, and this craft ends happily ever after. Well, okay ladies, the Red, White and Blue Library Roadshow will be back in a moment. Coming up after the break, a spotlight of just a few of our upcoming events in the library community calendar. And remember, they're all free just for you.